There we go. He's out of there, folks. Okay, now we're cooking with now we're cooking with gas here. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Something I've had on the back burner for a while, but I really wanted to get it done tonight. Now, I know my triple to color decks never really do well, but, uh, you know, I had to go in tonight. This is something that I've wanted to revisit and redo for a while. And it's probably my favorite triple color combo right here. Mardu Humans. Uh, in honor of Magic the Gathering's upcoming uh, crossover with Warhammer 40k, we're going to call it the Imperium of Man. Because it is a human knight tribal. It is very aggro. It is very fast. It's got a few little uh, tricks up its sleeve. Um, and it's actually moving me up diamond pretty well. We might make diamond one tonight. Pretty sure we're going to make Diamond Tier 1 tonight. And uh, tomorrow I think I might do a marathon stream to hit uh, Mythic. So keep an eye out for that, guys. But we're definitely going to hit Mythic. So let's take a look at Imperium of Man, Mardu Human Knights. Right? Why is it not editing? There we go. Okay, weird. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, all right, so as always, before we get going, what am I going to ask you to do, guys? I'm going to ask you to tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, the like and subscribe will get you. He will hunt you down. There's nothing you can do about it, except like and subscribe. Join us on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash thatvillainj. Uh, every night for live streaming goodness, and if you just can't get enough villainy in your life, you can join us on our Discord and hang out with all the boys. All those links will be in the description. Now, let's get down to business here. Um, let me show you what I got going on. Worthy Knight, solid card, especially if you're running a human deck. Uh, as you can see already, just from a bird's eye view, this is a pretty cheap deck overall, uh, which I think is important because it's going to move fast. We are going to play a lot of Knights. This is also a very heavy human deck, so these human tokens um, are really going to come in handy. Smitten Swordmaster. Um... Curry Favor is very useful with a lot of knights on the board. Uh, it can kill someone if you're very lucky. A 2-1 lifelink, uh, it just is such a smooth ramp. It's such a good common card. Rune of Speed. I wanted an additional red card in here, and I also wanted additional card draw. Um, pushing a little bit of that aggro-ness to the maximum in here. Um, I decided to throw this one rune in here for that little extra spice. You know what I mean? Dire Tactics, absolutely OP. Uh, Mr. Stignox was very worried that I did not have this in here. But one black, one white for a pure exile instant. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't mind losing life each, each to the toughness, but we're always going to have a human out, folks. General's Enforcer. All right. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. We only have one. But there's a reason that we only have one. We can exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature, we create a 1-1 one, one human soldier token. We don't need too many of these. I do, do like that he enforces, he gives the indestructibleness, and he is a 2-3. So I had four of him. I think three is the right amount. We might knock it down to two. I don't know yet. We're gonna, I'm going to show you some tricks to do with indestructible. Wintermore Commander, underrated knight right here, guys. 2-3, two, uh, two blank, death touch. 
one or more commanders. Toughness is equal to the number of knights you control. When one or more commander attacks, another knight you control gains indestructible. Okay, so you're starting to see a little bit of an indestructible um, pattern here. General Enforcer, win or more. We're going to get back to that. Inspiring Commander. 2-2, two, 2-drop. Two, two Other Knights you control get 1-1. One, one. Very useful. Uh, even though win or more Commander is just a soldier, um, he is a human, so he will fit in very nicely. Um, then, of course, we're going to have Bazriket. He is a human. He is a paladin. 1-1 um, one, one and indestructible to the end treaty. See the indestructible thing there? Um, I kind of like that. Okay. And then whenever non-human, uh, non-creature token attacks, you create that many white soldier tokens that tapped and attacking. That can get pretty big too. All right. Um... So he is very useful as well. He is really just fits in. I use Basri probably more than any other Planeswalker. He is a solid Planeswalker in my opinion. Um, we might add another one of him. Sanctuary Lockdown. Chat is talking right now about why Sanctuary Lockdown. I like that humans get 1-1. One, one. Uh, I know Rally the Ranks is cheaper. But I also like tap 2 untapped humans you control. Um, tap target creature and, and opponent controls. I do like that ability. Now, you can sub out Rally of the Ranks if you want. Um, additionally, I think Rally of the Ranks is a rare, and this is an uncommon. So either one will work uh, because you can choose human and you're going to be fine. Rally for the Throne is also good. Um, no, not Rally for the Throne. I'm thinking uh, Circle of Loyalty is not bad. I like Sanctuary Lockdown because I kind of want to be able to slip those attackers through um the finish line now you're saying oh you have to tap on tapped humans you control well as you can see we're creating a lot of tokens okay so it's something to do with these one one tokens if they're not really able to be combat effective they can be used for sanctuary lockdown um so that is one thing that you can do that's kind of why i liked it general kudro okay very tough guy serious dude with a serious stash other humans you control get 1-1. One, one. Whenever General Kudro or another human enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Very good. You can sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature of power 2 or greater. Um, very, very effective card. Very effective. Knight's Charge. Whenever a knight you control uh, attacks, each opponent loses one life and gains one life. This can be a killer just on the attack. It's a bit like Sanctum Seeker. If you ever saw my um, vampire deck... Uh, and additionally, if you really get bogged down in a grind, um, the eight cost sacrifice knight's charge, return all night creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Um, if you get mana flooded, if you get bogged down, hitting that one uh, will absolutely really change the whole dynamic. Doomscar. You know I'm not a big fan of board wipes, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about board wiping with this deck. You see all the indestructible stuff that I have? This is just a little trick. So what I like to use, do indestructible on Basri. And if I have General Kudro with General's Enforcer and Wintermore Commander, I either like to Doom Scar, then attack, and all my indestructibles don't stay, and the board is completely open. Or I can attack with Wintermore Commander, all the things that I want to do, boom, 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 and I can give everybody, um, after the attack is over, um, I can Doom Scar, and anything that's indestructible is, is still there. So, Basri Ket lets me choose who's indestructible. General Kudro can be, if he has General's Enforcer out, and of course, uh, General, um, one more commander, if we attack, somebody else will be indestructible. So, there's a couple of tricks to keeping your cards on the board when you hit the doom scar um it is effective against really getting flooded out um against like heavy creature decks if they're really if you just need to remove lots of stuff so there's plenty of removal in here i think um between dire tactics and general kudro but doom scar definitely with all these other indestructible abilities really does it i like to foretell it and that way it's a little cheaper and we can do it for big money. Uh, 
the mana is a real mess here, guys. Um, if you want to copy down how my mana works, you can do your own. This is how I figure this is effective. Seven plains, three swamps, two mountains, bright climb pathways, bright step pathways, and uh, needle verges just to get the broad covering in. I threw two tournament grounds in there just for the heck of it. They can't really cast anything but equipment or knights, so they're not very good at these spells. So I don't recommend overloading on these because you can get stuck with a spell in your hand. Um, uh, hmm. I'm not seeing that. So, um, we're going to go, we're going to look at it here. It 2.4 average, really not that bad. Um, and, uh, it's really going to be cheaper than that because Doomscar is really offsetting the amount of um, Doomscar is really offsetting the amount of the mana cost. It's really going to be cheaper. Twenty-one creatures, four instants, two sorceries, decent amount of enchantments here. Um, one planeswalker, twenty-four lands total. We got to get a bunch of them in there. So you can put Fable passages in here to uh, make sure that things go right. Um, I'm going to leave them out for right now. As you can see, it's really one and two. Um, it's actually, no, it's not two. It's two and three. That's it. Two and three. Doomscar is a three, really. Um, so, uh, that's how we're looking at it. It's, it's done me pretty well so far. It's pretty aggro. We can flood the board if we get the right combo of cards pretty quickly. So, uh, we're going to get into it right now. Let's see if we can't find a good game. All right, folks, let's get it going. Mardu Humes. Uh, the Imperium of Man. Ugh, I'm not happy with that mana layout. That's better. That's better. Uh, I'm going to toss one of those planes out. Oh, he mulligan down to five. Okay. Okay, bold guy, bold guy. Oh, there's dire tactics. Good. That's some removal. Doomscar we can foretell. Uh, we do need some knights to get one or more up. But two generals and forces are pretty beefy card. So, especially for a two drop. Arch means vessel. All right, so there's another one. Let's do generals and forcer. I've done a Mardu Knights deck. This is basically a Mardu Knights deck. Um, it is uh, it is not all the way, um, but I have done a full Mardu, just completely Knights. I've also done a complete Orzhov Knights deck. Um, so, yeah, I have done both. This is just kind of the really fast, um, really, really fast uh, Knights deck. It's very cheap. How you doing, Connor? By the way, thank you for coming by, man. Appreciate your support. Okay, so this is just one of them uh, whatchamacallits. I'm going to exile that Archfiend's Vessel because he wants to bring it back to life. I'm not going to let him. Well, I think I might hit the aura. Alright, we're going to do 
event. General's Enforcer. Is, yeah, that's, I mean, people are kitted out. I feel like they match you with stuff that will completely F you up. He's just gonna let it through. Good, good call there. Pacifism, very nice. If I can get a red mana, I'm going to be doing great. I'm going to swarm out. Uh, let's force foretell Doomscar. Alright. He's a tough one. He's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Another inspiring veteran. Um... Let's make a human token. We may have to hit that Doomscar. I don't know yet. Um, I think we're going to have to go on a big defense here. If I can get Inspiring Veteran or some sort of indestructibility, we're going to see here. He really wants to bring back that Archfiend's Vessel. I don't think that I can uh, keep letting it hit me. All right, so we're going to... Um, we're going to take out Clerical Life's Bond. Um, I might, I might sweep him. I might sweep him. But not getting that red mana is really affecting me. I hope he's going to put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Yeah. And that is not what we need. So we're just going to Doomscar. Of course, we're not getting the mana we need. He's not getting it either. Tournament Grounds will let us play Inspiring a Veteran. And we can Dire Tactics anything that comes out. So let's see. Wow. 
So that's the use of um, board wipes, guys. Sometimes you just need to set it back to zero. Yeah, he's getting mana flooded. Thanks, Auto Shuffler. Uh, another Dire Tail. Oh, yeah, he's not getting anything out. He's not getting anything out. Absolutely, he's not getting a card out. He is not getting a card out. Two instant exiles? No, sir. No, siree. No, you're locked out. Oh, yeah, Auto Shuffler. You do it, Auto Shuffler. You do it, Auto Shuffler. And we can't play that uh, because I don't have any red. And he's out of there. All right. Victory from the jaws of defeat there, guys. Sometimes you got to sweep. I know I don't like it. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but hey, sometimes you just got to hit the sweep. Let's keep going. <laughs> you don't want to play boring crap. Um, okay, lots and lots of mana here. I'm going to keep this and see where it goes. Um, control deck shouldn't do something till that early. It, here's the thing. There should be a variety of... There should be a variety of things that you sh you're able to play... Um, in the meta, I mean, it, it really, it shouldn't narrow it down that much. Um, it is sad when it does. Doomscar won that game, absolutely. Absolutely, Doomscar won that game. Uh, no doubt about it. Probably gonna burn me up here. Yep. Or at least a hybrid contender. Each deck should have something that's tier 1 or tier 0 type at least. Because um, it's ridiculous when you get to like, if you're not playing, you know, like we saw. If you're not playing that specific type of... Uh, Alright, if I can stop drawing mana, I'll be okay. Yikes. Uh, there's Worthy Knight. Robber. Very nice. Okay, red aggro. Let's see if we can pull this off. When is he gonna do it? No, nope, he's not gonna do it. Tournament grounds, of course. I have way too much mana in this game, in this one. Holy shit. Holy shit do I have too much mana. Um obviously I need much less.
Holy shit, do I have too much mana, guys. Good lord almighty. I can actually, in, in, in for a second time, uh, do Knight's Charge. Um, that is ridiculous. Good lord almighty. Um, shit, might as well. Actually, we're going to save that. I have 24 just because of the variety, but uh, clearly that is far too much. Uh, far, far, far too much, obviously. Uh, pass. Is he coming in? Bro, he'd be so butthurt if I fucking Doomscart. Um, so he's, I'm sure he has an Embercleave in his hand, so. Um, Yeah, that's clearly what I need to do. Uh, so we're, we're going to see. Oh, he didn't have a Doomscar in his hand. Look at that. Um, it's a Knight's Charge, so we're going to activate Knight's Charge. Needs it. He's looking for it. Amazing, guys. Um, all right, mana readjustment, guys. Yes, it is a Warhammer 40k um, uh, reference. So, auto shuffler not doing me any favors here. First of all, even in a 24 mana deck, that is way too much mana. Am I wrong or am I right? Even even if I'm running 24, um, that's still way too much. Okay, so let's do a little bit of remanning here. We can only hope, guys. We can only hope. It's actually not a bad hand there. And we still have a little Black. bit of spot left here. Black man out. Four passages. Don't make me run four passages. Oh, fine. Put fervent champions in. That's what they say. 
That's what they say, but I don't know how true that is. Well, here's the thing. Here's my bias against playing cards. I have a bias against playing overused cards. That's what my bias is against. Uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid. To be, to be fair, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, so, just just for the sake of argument, that that is actually what I'm Can't attempting to not do. Clever um, name. All right, so let's see. That's going to be 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh -oh. 19, 22. Okay. I called you rude. I didn't call you rude. Sword of the Realms. Interesting. Vito with a Sword of the Realms. Is he gonna go in? Yeah, he's gonna go in. Alright. More mana, naturally. No, I don't do a lot of drafts. You ended with LOL to take this thing out. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh we got a cycler, guys. We got a cycler. I'm just clarifying my position, you know. No, 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 um, no hurt feelings. It's gonna I'm have to clarify my Um. Oh, my God, Astral. Beautiful. I'm not even mad at that. Baked into a pie. Interesting. Interesting. I'm, I'm not even mad at it. Not even mad at bicycling. He's going to do... Seven. Technically, it is a tricycle. Eleven damage to me if he doesn't gain any more life. Nope, he's gonna gain much more life. So if I don't draw an exile right here, he's I, I'm out. No, that's not it. I'm dead. have one last trick to do. One last trick to do. Just trying to get to Zenith Flare as fast as he can. Alright, let's try one more. He's just trying to get to he's he's absolutely racing to Zenith Flare right now.
that's better. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Who do I want to get rid of? Uh, wow. Yikes. So, I'm sure he's going to Zenith Flare me. Um, oh, no, my God, he's not. He's not Zenith Flaring me. He's trying to get it, but he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the mana now. that's it isn't it I guess that's it isn't it all right so it's a white cleric tribal so we know that we know okay that now we're on a roll here guys uh, we're on a roll here folks that's what I need to I need a Yorian cycling Ugin he's got light of promise Now we hit the woe with him. Now we gonna hit the woe. There we go. Pump up the jam. There we go. Now we're working. Victory's on, boy. Alright, we're going to put down that. There we go. He's out of there, folks. Okay, now we're cooking with, now we're cooking with gas here. Alright. Well, aside from the mana issues, I can really hold my own in Diamond. Uh, we had a few weird games there, but, um, yeah, I think it's pretty solid. I think just a little bit of mana tuning, it'll get there. So I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'm going to tell you that the word of the day is going to be Emperor. And, of course, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Um, I wish it had performed a little better. I think it really underperformed. Um, but all in all, I think it's a solid deck. Definitely. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it for a little while. I'm going to see how far I can stretch it. I, I might update you on this one in a little bit. So keep your eyes peeled. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Until next time. Emperor. Bye-bye.